so it's Christmas time and like all of you guys, I was searching the best Christmas gift for and at this time, something truly bizarre struck my attention. The list had women, grandmom, uh, wife, uh, girlfriend, and all the women, right? And something missing was men, no men, no gifts for men. Men are the ones who fight in the wars, give their life, they provide for the family, they work so hard, they provide for the children, and no love, no affection, no gifts for men, which is shocking. I think it's time to take a step back, think about this a little bit, right? What about the brothers? What about the fathers? What about the grandfathers? What about your son? Think about the men in your life. If you show them some love, affection, they're going to treat you well. Today, there's a big situation between the genders. Uh, no one seems to treat each other well. So think about why this is happening. I'm going to discuss what men truly like. No, it's not about the watches and the clothes and the cars. If they can provide that for you, they can easily buy that for themselves. Yes, they'll show some happiness, but um, yeah, you you got to be smarter than that. What men truly love in 2023, moving into 2024, is passports, citizenships, and residencies. If you truly want to make him happy from the inside, think about what he really is looking at, watching, and desiring in his life. I'm going to discuss 10 options where you can pick and choose and directly get the citizenship by purchase, and then I'm going to discuss some very unique opportunities which are more natural, more real in different parts of the world. So let's start off with what you can outright purchase for him, right? That's going to make him really happy. Now you have 10 uh, countries that sell their passports and five are in the Caribbean. You have countries like St. Kitts and Nevis, Grenada, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Lucia, Dominica. They sell their passports. It ranges from 100k to 250k. In my opinion, it's all the same. Just pick one and it's, it's kind of the same minor differences here and there. So those are the five options you can outright purchase. If you want some real good options, uh, some exotic ones that's going to really excite him. Uh, there's two or two or op three options in the Middle East. One is uh, Turkey, right? 400k in property investment, a condo. And, and think about this. It's not, you're not just gifting him. You're gifting yourself as well. The whole family benefits from Plan B residencies and citizenships. It's not just he starts it, you're putting on his name, but then you're also getting the gift because you're going to get the citizenship. Your children are going to get the citizenship. So there's multiple benefits. It's not just all going to him. In Turkey, if you purchase a condo, you and your family can then obtain your Turkish nationality. That's 400k. Now, if you look at Egypt, slightly better deal, in my opinion, the market is more stable. You put in 300k in a property in Egypt. Yes, this is going to be appreciation, hopefully, if you do the right investment, but you're also going to get an Egyptian citizenship. Now, this is not access. Right? You're assuming you have some decent access already, you're a Westerner, then this is going to add security, safety, protection. What men truly desire and truly want is uh, the sexiness, right, of that citizenship. And some passports are truly unique, exotic, and hot, and that's what men want. Yes, women, they want women, but that's a small part of their life these days. A big part of their life is that protection, security, and plan B, right? So Egypt is slightly higher than Turkey. If you're looking for the best of the best, the premium, then you have Jordan. Jordanian citizenship is expensive. It clocks in at a million dollars, but if, and I have... A lot of friends with families who have traveled to Jordan and they have had the best experience of their life. Jordan is a beautiful country with great people, great hospitality, great culture, and great vibrance. It'll really fill your life and your you know family's life with happiness. So that's a great plan B. There's Cambodia, and there are a couple of hidden gems which can be purchased outright around the world. And if you've missed my coverage on this, I have a ton of videos on my channel which cover different options in a lot of detail. So these are outright citizenships that you can purchase and gift yourself and gift him around the world. If you're looking for some more natural options, more cheaper options, you're on a budget and you want to earn this, you want to earn a great solid passport, then there are two cheap options on the Latin American side. One is Mexico, one is Dominican Republic, and whoever is watching my channel, good chances that you already qualify for both these two, Mexico and Dominican Republic. The USP of Mexico is, is that it has the most flexible residency that leads to citizenship. The USP of Dominican Republic is that you get citizenship or you can apply for citizenship just after two years. It has a flexible PR 
that can lead to citizenship after just two years. This is very unique and you guys are going to love this. Don't think it's a weak country or anything. It's a beautiful citizenship. Uh, if you want to go slightly on the elite side, you have uh, Chile and Spain. So both have options. I've covered Chile in a lot of detail. This is one of the best, the hottest passport that you can strike in Latin America's. Spain is equally good. The only issue with Spain is that you've got to think about the taxation. The tax authorities in Spain are pretty tough, right? Some stories out of Spain, so you've got to be aware of that. Otherwise, there's nothing wrong. It's a beautiful citizenship option. Again, I have a detailed video on how you can get the Spanish citizenship. In certain cases, you can get this passport in just two years in Spain. So that's Latin America. In Europe, you have uh, Serbia. Beautiful option, cheap option. If you're on a budget, 25K, 20K, whatever you can afford to buy or purchase a property in Serbia. Yes, you can get a property for that amount. And let's say when you're talking about golden visas worth 250K in Portugal or Spain and, you know, all those places here or Greece, here you're talking about 25K, 30K in property and then gets you that residency. You can get citizenship after three years. You can apply for permanent residency, which can then lead to citizenship. If you're looking for higher options, as I said earlier, you have Portugal, Greece, Spain, uh, Italy and Hungary is trying to launch golden visa at 250K euros, right? A lot of Chinese um, applicants, they go for Cambodia for various strategic reasons. Again, as I said, this is not about getting your plan A, this is plan B, so you're not talking access. You're looking for strategic advantages, protection, securities, and a lot of that comes not with the most sophisticated, you know, spotlights on you. It's exactly the opposite, if you know what I mean. And let's say you're an African, you're from the U.S., or let's say you're an African-American or African-Canadian, you live in the West, you have a strong American or Canadian passport, and you want to give your man that exotic African option. There's South Africa that you can outright purchase the permanent residency. It's 6800 in government donation. Once you donate that to the government, you start off with a permanent residency. This is a flexible permanent residency. So you and your family don't have to physically move there, right? This is a back pocket option if you look at it. And when I say back pocket, nothing illegal. This is back pocket means plan B. So this residency does not have any physical presence required. Of course, if you want to get citizenship, you can always plan that in future. If you spend the minimum amount of time that's required to convert this and trade this in for that citizenship, uh, he or you can do this in future. So that's an option in the Africas. This is also a hot, solid option and, and a favorite for a lot of people. A lot of people who call me always mention this and we discuss this. It's Mauritius, exotic black pass, right? It's very hot and it has some exotic access. Very simple, straightforward, $1,000 donation, $1,000 in government application fees. There are a couple of avenues based on your age. You can just get in straight away. Or if you're, let's say you're not retired, then you can do a business in Mauritius and still get the same residency. Or there's a third option. You purchase a 375K property in Mauritius. You get the same residency and then you can work yourself towards citizenship provided you satisfy certain criteria. You can get Mauritian citizenship as early as two years, right? After two years, you can apply and get this hot, solid option in your bag. Great plan B, exotic plan B, a hot plan B that you can consider in the Africas. And these are not just the only option. There are a ton of other opportunities elsewhere across the globe. If you are interested in starting your residency, click the link in the description, book a call with us. We can discuss what is the best fit in your case and get you started. And if you aren't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to turn on the bell notification and subscribe because I cover launch of latest new hot programs. So you don't miss out on anything new that comes within the RCBI domain. And if you are interested in knowing the six ways, okay, now a lot of people are only aware of one or two or three ways if you haven't seen my video, but if you want to know all all the ways and I can bet you you can't name all six if you haven't seen that video so if you are interested you can hop onto this video this covers all the different ways to obtain citizenships all right catch you in this one